A determinant is a minimal non-trivial functional dependency. We say that a set of attributes a1 up to an is a determinant for a set of attributes b1 up to bm if the following conditions hold. First of all, we ha must have a functional dependency a1 up to an uniquely determine b1 up to bm. Moreover, this functional dependency should be minimal in the sense that if we remove any attribute from the left hand side, then the functional dependency is no longer valid. And this functional dependency should not be trivial, so the right hand side should not be a subset of the left hand side. If all of these conditions hold, so it is a functional dependency, it is a minimal one and it is not trivial, then we call this functional dependency a determinant. Let's have a look at some example. So let's say we have two functional dependencies. We have that the student ID and the exercise number uniquely determine the number of points that the student has obtained, and the exercise number uniquely determines the maximum number of points obtainable for this exercise. Now let's discuss whether the following are determinants. Is the attributes points and max points a determinant for points and max points? The answer is no, because this is a trivial functional dependency, and the determinant should not be trivial. The left-hand side should not be a superset of the right-hand side. What about, is the exercise a determinant for points and max points? The exercise uniquely determines the maximum number of points, but the exercise alone does not determine the number of points that the student has obtained. So actually, this is not even a valid functional dependency. So it's not a determinant. Do the sit and the exercise together form a determinant for points and max points? The sit and the exercise together uniquely determine the number of points, and the exercise determines the maximum number of points. So this is a valid functional dependency. Is it minimal? If we remove sit, then the points are no longer uniquely determined. If we remove exercise, then the maximum points are no longer uniquely determined. So indeed, it's minimal if you drop any attribute from the left-hand side. This is no longer a valid functional dependency. It is also not trivial because the right-hand side is not a subset of the left-hand side. So indeed, this fulfills all the criteria for determinant. So yes, it is a determinant. And finally, are the points together with the exercise number, do they form a determinant for the points and the maximum number of points? The exercise number uniquely determines the maximum number of points and points uniquely determines points. Let's check. So, since points determines points and exercise determines maximum number of points, this is indeed a valid functional dependency. The left-hand side, is it minimal if we drop exercise, then the maximum number of points are no longer uniquely determined. If we drop points, then the points are no longer uniquely determined. So indeed, it's minimal. We cannot drop anything from the left-hand side. And also it's not trivial, because the right-hand side is not a subset of the left-hand side. So this also fulfills all the criteria for determinants, so it is a determinant. So let's try the computation of determinants in the online system. Here we have a task that asks us to compute the determinants for the set BC with respect to this set of functional dependencies. The algorithm for computing determinants is very similar to the algorithm computing minimal keys. But now we are not looking for sets of attributes that determine all attributes, but that determine only BC. 
So we again start with a set of candidate determinants. And we are, as a start, we are looking at the attributes that we want to determine, B, C, and we look whether one of them does not appear on the right hand side. If one of them would not appear on the right hand side, then it must be part of any determinant. B appears on the right hand side, C appears on the right hand side. So we are unlucky, we have to start with an empty set as a candidate. So we start picking the smallest candidate, the empty set, we compute the cover and we get the empty set. So we need to extend this with all attributes. So we extend it with A, with B, with C and with D. We pick one of the smallest candidates. Let's pick C. We compute the cover of C. What do we get? We have C. From C we get A. So A is in the set. From C we also get A, B. A, B is in there. And do we get anything else? No. So we get A, B, C. So C is a determinant for B, C. C uniquely determines both B and C. And additionally A, but we don't care about that. So our first determinant is C. Now let's have a look at A. We compute the cover of A. And nothing is applicable, so we just get A. So we need to extend our candidate A with all attributes B, C, D. So with B, with C, and with D. The extension with C we can disregard immediately because C already is a determinant. We again pick a smallest candidate. Let's say we pick B, we compute the cover of B. What do we get? From B we don't get anything, only B. So we have to extend with A, C, and D. A, B we already have. A, C we don't need to consider because C is a determinant. So we only need to extend with D. So we only need to consider B, D. We can pick a smallest candidate. We compute the cover of D. What do we get? We get from D, we get A. This is not applicable yet, not applicable. Nothing more applicable. We get A and D. So we have to extend D with B and C. DB, we already have, we already have to set BD. So we don't need to consider this. And we have to extend it with C, but C already is a determinant, so we can disregard this extension. Okay, so we have three more candidates to look at. Let's have a look at AB. We compute the cover of AB. From AB we don't get anything. So we have to, so we only get AB. We have to extend AB with C, but this we don't need to consider because C already is a determinant. And we have to extend it with D. Okay, let's have a look at AD. From AD, this is not applicable, this is not applicable, this is not... This is applicable, but we have A already. So we just get AD, we need to extend it with B and C. The extension with B we already have, the extension with C we don't need to consider because C is a determinant. Okay. Now let's pick smallest candidate BD. From BD we get, from D we get A, then we have ABD, and from ABD we get also C, so actually BD is the key of our relation, it determines everything, and in particular determines BC. Okay, so since BD is a determinant, we can throw away ABD 
because this is a superset controlling a determinant, so there's nothing more we need to consider. So we have found two determinants, C and BD. Let's check whether this is correct. Indeed, our answer is correct.